Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is array last index. So I've gone ahead and created a last index node here, for example, and it's pretty simple. The last index node is simply going to return back the last index value of your array. That's it. So for example, I plug in our string array here, and our string array has three values. It's going to go ahead and print out two. Two is our last index. Remember, array started zero, so we have an index of two here. Now let's say we pulled in this object array, and I tried to plug it in. Well, first of all, you're going to notice an issue. It's going to try to convert it. Now it's trying to convert it because this wildcard has changed into a string version. We need to unplug the string, reset it back to wildcard, and then we can plug in the new value. Now if we go ahead and run our object array, where we see seven elements, and we hit play, you'll find six for our last index. Now if we pull this open, we're going to know something a little bit funny. We do have six, but we also have none for some of these values. Well, that's fine. None is a valid value for an object. So we have six of them, sorry, we have seven elements created, or zero through six on the index scale. Therefore, six will be our last valid index. And that's it. If you need to know where the last valid index is so you can add on to that, then you can go ahead and use last index. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.